Hello, I'm Joel. And I'm Alex. Welcome, Welcome to, to Crack Pack Wars. Wars. The place where we crack packs from magic. And whoever cracks the most will become the next Crack Pack King. That's right, Alex. I know you want to become the next Crack Pack King. Is that yes, right? Yes, Crack Pack <laughs> King. That's right. So, today... We have a mystery booster box, and we are going to be cracking packs from this. So we, Alex and I thought it'd be fun to do this. Um, my brother funded this, and um, we know we're not the finance guys, or we're not the guys with the most wit and whatnot, but we love the game of magic. So we decided to create our own game. Right, Alex? Yep. So this is the point in which you see these six cards, and this is a game we created. It's real quick, it's real easy. We call it Crack Pack Wars. So basically, each player will get half of the booster box, half the packs, and you can do this with any product. And then each player will get three cards from these six cards that we created, and we'll, we'll make more as time goes on. Um, and they can use it during the game. Sorceries can be played on that player's turn before opening their packs, and instances can be played at any time. At the end of the game, the person with the most monetary value wins the title Crack Pack King. As I know, you, Alex, definitely want to become the next Crack I, Pack I King. I will hopefully become the Crack Pack <laughs> King. So I think we've said that enough. Everybody gets the point. They they want to also be opening this and becoming Crack Pack Anyway, let's get into <laughs> this. Um, mystery booster box, shall we? So... Um, also, we're going to show you, uh, we rolled the dice. Um, we don't have the actual physical cards made yet because uh, we've been kind of delayed with the, the pandemic and everything going on with getting them printed. Um, but here are Alex's cards and my cards. Um, as you can see, they've been divvied up. We rolled the die and we divvied up we accordingly. We randomized it, yeah. Yeah, randomized it. And then now, with these cards in our hands, we can use them at any point. And we're gonna roll to see who goes first. Let's do that to start. And Alex, I'll roll for you first. Okay. You got a nine. Man, I'm hard so. to beat. There you go. Let's see what I get. Let's see. I get a. I got an eight. I got real oh, close. Oh, it was closer than I thought. That's a lucky, lucky number two. So let's get into it. Here we go. Mystery booster box. Ooh, I love the sound of that. Nice wrinkly sound. All right, bear with me. I have never opened a box on camera before. So, let's see what we got here. We got our booster packs. And I believe there's 24 packs, if I'm not mistaken, here. So let's just make this nice and even. Make sure we got... Let's kind of shuffle them up together, right? Let's see. Can we do that? Can we Good shuffle luck. them? Let me see. I got a shuffle going on. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. I give you no credit, Joel. I didn't think you had it. It's almost as easy as shuffling with um, KMC sleeves or katana sleeves. I don't know which which sleeves do you prefer, Alex? I and like uh, me a KMC. We have so many different sleeve preferences in our group. Everybody's uh, got a different brand. Everyone right? has a different one. It's so funny, and it, they all came organically. Yes, I, I have, I'm new to the game, but I, I've fallen in love with the katana sleeves. I got a bunch of those. It's one of those things, it's not even like I dislike katana. I think they're great sleeves and all. It's just, I really like me, I, I, the older KMCs. They did a decent job with the new ones, too. Um, I rather like those, and boy, do I like double sleeving, so. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, okay, we got twelve each. Awesome. There we got those set up. Let me just line these up. Yeah, and then um, I know my brother, he he, he loves Dragon Shield, so there there's go. that. And uh, I'm not sure. I think Randall is also a Dragon Shield, so we got, like, almost every brand covered. Okay, okay so and let's do this. I go first, right? Yes, you do. So I'm going to use my one of my cards, opening oh. move. Opening move. Okay. Opening move. I really think you're one on top. Joel's a winner. So I'm going to uh, play Ha, the Rich Get Richer. Okay. So each of us are going to open a pack, and whoever has the highest CMC card among the rares in the pack will get both packs. And I'm just crossing my fingers I'll beat Joel on CMC. Okay, so here we go. This is Alex's pack right here. 
And of course, this is going to be fun. Oh, struggling to open the pack. Here we go. Alex, what we got? We got an ephemeral shields, Cathar's companion, pondering mage, opt, skeleton archer, tavern swindler, price of progress, Jinju of the Spires, Hamlet Captain, and Azuri's Archers, and then we got a Shipwreck Singer, mm -hmm. Guardians of Miletus, Miletus? I think they're still, what? I don't know, they're Am once I? a common, they might be in random order too, we might want to confirm as we go. I'm not card. quite sure. Archangel. It's an older card. A Phyrexian it's Arena. An arena. That's a good one, and then a Council Guardian. Is that one a rare as well? Yeah, these are the foil. It's a, it's a, uh, yeah, it looks like a rare foil. And double check the rest of the pack. You may have to go through the pack more slowly for the mystery boost. So I don't know if they're also in a random. Order yes. As well. So we need to look at the high CMC among rares, right? Yes. So, so let's see. That. I got these are commons. This white symbol is a common, right? Uh, yes, that's a common, and it's in okay. the Dominaria had a list of issues. So this is uncommon, you know, uncommon. I think that's gray. On the 25. And then there's that. Yeah, okay. As long as there's not another rare sneaking in there. So I basically okay. have Phyrexian Arena. I, I, that doesn't bode well for me here. I think you're going to get it. And Phyrexian Arena is a nice pickup. Yeah, so these are all in commons. You got one rare. Okay. All right. So let's see what I have. I think you're in a pretty are good spot. Are there tabs on this one right here? I know, and I want that Phyrexian Arena too, man. I think it's over. Uh, I might have gone for a bust. You know I like to play black, so I have a deck for that. I got a few decks for that. All right, what do I got here? Let's see. Common, common. It's uncommon sleep. Common, common. Volcanic rush, browbeat, prey upon, ambassador oak, shardless agent. Shardless agent. That's nice. And then a sigil of valor, an umbral mantle. And Selvala. And we tie, too. Oh, my I God. I knew what you pack had something good in it. <laughs> what do we do in the case of a tie? We just created this game, and we have no play for this. So. Okay, let's let's do double or nothing. Double or nothing? Thought, double or nothing on the next pack. We're going all hey, dude, in. Let's do it. You know, it's our own game. We and I'm not going to lie, too. I was like, man, I think I made the wrong call when I got Phyrexian Arena, but Selvala is worth more. Yes, it is. It is. It is. I, mean, I knew you had something good in that top pack, though. There we go. There we go. All right, let's see what we got. This is your pack, Alex. We got Light Form, Light Walker, Predict, um, Jace's Phantasm, Astro Vengeance. There we go. Some more comments. Turn to Earth, Hammer Dropper. They got a Crystal Ball. Make sure we get this whole card, card in here. Forward. You got a Ristic Study. Ristic Study. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this pot's getting big. Target player. Okay, a Mind Shatter. There's your it's rare. spell, too. Oh, that is not good. The Ristic Study is fantastic pickup. Mind and, Shatter is and a gleeful not sabotage. the rare I wanted. There we, okay. go. there we go. All, All right, let's see. Well you said double me. or nothing. Double or so, nothing. So the X spell means it's still three in CMC, though, right? X can count as zero. So I would count it as two. Okay. Mark my honor, Don. So here we go. Here we go. Make sure I'm doing this the, as square as I can. Couple of therapy. Kind of got to go slow just because they sneak some good cards in the front part of this. Well, pack. like Umbral's not good. Neither Haro's pretty good too. Fire and ice. Bottle gnomes. Crystal shard. That's, That's a nice a pickup. Arch of Araska. Oh, ho, ho. and a Sarkin Oh, but you got a mythic. Mat. Oh, and I a thought mythic. I had you with Arch. I got a zero. But oh, Sarkon mythic rare. A loco. Wait, wait. So double or nothing? I mean, I get both. I you get, get all, all this? the whole shebang, Joel. All right, we're shifting the wrist. I got the Ristic Study and the Phyrexian Arena out of this. Yep, that was a big money. All right, dude. That, that backfired on you. But, you know, that's why we made How the Rich Get Richer a red card. Say, don't forget those... to put Arch of Araska in your pile, Joel, too. And that's also a rare. Oh, did I miss one? Did I miss yes. one? That's what I, when I saw it. I was like, oh, I got you. And then you got a foil. Plains yeah, Walker's you're right. You're game. right. I'm going to find it real quick just to make sure I got that. I thought I had you. Oh, I want to make sure I only got rares in that. I don't think. Ristic Study isn't rare. 
Uh, but other, no. you know, it's big money, so I think you're fine. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the foils on top though. They're kind of cool. I will say, I really no, nobody, like Mystic nobody Booster. Nobody can see that. The Mystery Booster. We need a lot of these reprints. Okay, okay, we're good. Archer Raz can keep that on top. Okay, back to you, Alex. Next okay. pack. Wow, that was a real good play right there. Mm, for you. <laughs> well, you're playing red, you know. You're playing, playing scary right now. Okay. So here we go. Countless Gears Renegade. We'll start off with that. we got some cards here. Thought scores. Some cards. Crypt and Blight. Mm-hmm. You stop me. Oh, you got to Lignify. Lignify is not terrible. It's not expensive, but I'm not against that card at all. No. Nope. Okay, so we got our commons here. we got John Shields. Great. Furnace. A Dragon Mask. That's an interesting card. Three and tap target creature you control gets to see. And turn it into a turn of that creature is in play. Return it to its owner's hand. Interesting. Stunt Double. Stunt Double. There you go. That's a good so card. That's my, one of my rares. Is the other one a rare too? It looks like it is. The other is, yeah, it's a rare foil. Yeah. You got your Tiller and Ophidium. All right, all right. I think I'm just going to keep this one a regular opening. We had a lot of heat right there at the top of the, top at the, of the show. You cast that red card on me. Okay, let me see if I can get this open. Be looking at what, what you want to cast next. Or... I should be looking too. It's kind of hard to do both at the same time, but. Mm -hmm. Demon's Grasp. Blanch Armor. Crop Rotation. Weapons Trainer. Jungle Hollow. Chancer of the Annex. There's a rare. I'm, um, Reality Scramble. That's interesting. Don't know that card. And the Souls Attendant is a common. Foil. It's so pretty though. It's a classic life green card. Okay. <clears throat> Back to Alex. Back to Alex. Man, with that first play. Oh yeah, I think I stole a bunch of that. I might win this game. No, we better, we better the turn the tide, man. I knew you had a good pack that first one. I was wrong, I just also often happened to have a good one too, and then boy, more gas in that fire. Okay, I'm having a hard time. Go big or go home, pack. though. Yeah, exactly. Go big or go home. Well, that's just at the top, right? That's the top of the game. Okay, let's see. We got a Soul Mender. Let's see if I can get this in the camera a little bit better. Here we go. Skeleton Scrag. Gore Swine. Pillage. Rins Run Vanquisher. Roots. Bone Saw. Hypnotic Sept. Specter. Yes, that's a famous card. Aminatu's, Aminatu's Augury. Augury, which is also a funner card. That's from 2018. Nice. And then a foil, Glittering Wish. Wish. Hey, Joel. I'm going to... Uh, Are you going to you're going to cast, cast another card here, since the first one went so well. I'm going <laughs> to cast Rare Convergence. Okay. And I'll give you the Hypnotic Specter for a rare of your next pack. Okay, so you're going to... Cast that. Yes. Uh, or are you gonna you're gonna give me this and take any rare from my next pack. Yes. Nice. Rare convergence. Now you're playing green. There you go. Let's see what my next pack is right here. Uh, Alley Evasion. So there we go. Lab Maniac. Always use one of those. Dark Blast, Burden, Cultivate. I can't say no to more Cultivates. Any more so Arcane Sanctum. Pestilence, that's a common, it looks like. Yes, but that's a very famous card. Recruiter of the Guard. Yes. Like that. that. That's, an, that's a pricey card. Yes, and, and I will take free. Recruiter of the Guard. All right, so you have Recruiter of the Guard, and I will take Hypnotic Specter. And that really is... Is that a mythic? That is a mythic. Yes. There you go. Okay. So back to you. Um, I was going to cast one of mine. I am going to. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna cast a card on you. Uh -huh. I'm gonna cast Crushing Hopes. Rare black. For it's an instance. Says take one of your opponent's rares from their next pack opening. Okay. So I'm just going to just take one of these. 
Thumb gun. All right. Decommission. Cool. Anticipate repulse. We got here. Reclaim. Reclaim's nice. Put target card from graveyard on top of your library. Yeah. It's it's uh, not it's not fantastic. I mean, it's not as good as regrowth or whatnot, but you know, it's playable. There you go. Bormat Bazaar barge. Ooh. Soren Markov. Soren Markov. Oh, ho, 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 black, black market. market. <laughs> and the, I think I will take. Which one's gonna be worth more? I'm trying to think. I'm not so sure about Soren. I know Black Market's got some value. I'm gonna take Black Market. Okay. I'm like I said. I'm, all right, all right. Since you picked that, I'm gonna give you be honest. I'm pretty sure Soren's the more expensive card. Oh, we'll find out. We'll find <laughs> out. We're, we're adding Soren all this has, up. Read Soren's minus three for me, Joel. Target opponent's life total becomes ten. That's why I think it's more expensive. Yes, that's pretty good. Well, we'll find out. I don't think I'm winning this, but... You don't think you're winning this? I don't think I'm winning this. <laughs> that opening move, there was a lot of bang on that dollar, and it all went You never know, there. man. There's some really pricey yeah. cards in here. You just That's get one true. of them. That's true. If I get a Monocrypt, it's all over. That's right. Or the Teferi's Protection. There's a mm -hmm. few other cards that have some good value. Okay, so this is my pack. I'll go to... Here we go. Gonna kind of go through these a little faster. Revive. So it cures follower, That's juggernaut, nice. asceticism. Asceticism. I love Finally, asceticism. I got an asceticism. Woo. Goblin pile driver and a frozen aether. There you go. There you go. All right, Alex, back to you. Okay. All right, what do we got here? You just stop me if there's any cards uh, that you... Uh, oh, Gary has a little bit of money to it. They just reprinted Gary, though. Yes, they did. And it's not it's worth very as much. I mean, it's, it's talking about change here, but it's playable change. Draco. I don't know. That looks pretty cool. No, it's an old, older famous card, though. There you go. Nin the Pain Artist. If you look at the mana cost of Draco, that's where... Yeah. Oh, 16 genes. <laughs> yes, that's where it's famous. Yeah, you need to just play that for free out of a Perforos deck or something <laughs> like that. I don't know. Um, there you go. Um, it might be worth something. I don't know. Nin, the pain artist. Don't think Draco is. Leiden agent. All right, Alex. Back to me. Uh, we got a few more packs, so I'm just going to keep cracking mm -hmm. packs. I'm not going to use my other plays quite yet. No Goblin Pile Driver used to be played in the modern Goblins, or it might have been Legacy Goblins. I don't remember. I don't play that format. No, we play Commander here on the Commander's Journey. I mean, here at Crack Pack Wars. But Asceticism's a nice pickup. I love Asceticism. No, that's a good card. And that's one. Uh, oh, Tatiova. Tatiova's nice, though. Tatiova's a nice solid dollar there. There's our Commander card. Trade Reef. There's your Reef. Squirrel Reef. Wrangler. Some squirrels. That's, that's a rare Squirrel Wrangler. But drawn is the pickup here. Drawn a Colostria Blood Chief 3 2 by It's flying. Target creature gets to. It's original Durana. She's a very popular uh, commander. Nice. And then a Sinew Silver Foil. That's pretty. It's just pretty. Um, awesome. So let me, let me go ahead and keep those up here. And then, oh, that was my turn. So now it's back to your turn. Make sure I'm opening this correctly. Oh, man. You know, with Ikoria coming out, Alex, we yes. gotta we gotta open some of those too. I like. Uh, hold on, go back, go back to. Oh, oh. Grape Shot's nice too, but um, one more. Like Arcane. me an Arcane Denial. That's a pretty good counter spell there. I like the way he's just like stopping all that ooze. Like it looks yeah. like f f like some slime from like some Ghostbuster type thing. <laughs> Sorry, my kid. Not an my expensive kid. card, I don't believe. But uh, my kid's into funnel. Ghostbusters. Well, go. Great Sandworm. That's such a cool art. It's a very art. cool card. I think it got reprinted uh, in the uh, Ikoria. Oh. That's the original printing of it from Amonkhet, and it got reprinted, I believe, in Ikoria with new art. I think it did. I think it did. And Survivalists. 
That's a decent go. card. Removal. The Geists. Geists. This is an uncommon. Heavy. From Eldritch oh, Moon. Nice. Wild. Nice. Nicotl. It's a famous card, too. Tempt with discovery. discovery. Love that card. Ooh, Let's and a foil. It. Not of, not this, of world. this world. Well, because nice. it's foil, it might be something. We will find out. We will find out. Okay. So I think I'm going to cast a card here on you. There you go. I am going to cast um, Top Decking. So this is a more complicated card, but basically, well, I'm going to flip a coin. If I win, I trade a rare for my most. Re I should have kept this. Wait, it's on my turn, it's right? Our, yeah. uh, yep, it's on your. You're about to go. Yeah, because so I want to. I want to take this Tempt with Discovery from you. So. <laughs> That's I'm okay. going to flip a coin. Um, if I win, I trade a rare from my most recently opened pack with a rare from your, from you, from my opponent's most recent opened If I lose, you get to flip a coin, which I'll flip it for you, and then you can do the same to me. Mm -hmm. And just to recap, the rares are mine. I'm, I'm being risky with this because I got Drana. I don't know if Drana's right terribly there. expensive, though. I don't think she is. I think she got reprinted a number of times. And you simply had Temp with Discovery. So that's what's yes. on the chopping block. All right. Yes. So I will flip, and I'm going to say tails. So tails is this beautiful Ellis Island on the quarter, uh -huh. and heads is good old Washington. So I'm going to say tails to try and win. Oh, I got a heads. I lose. There you go. So. And I don't want to flip at all. I'd rather have the temp of discovery. <laughs> Otherwise, I just flip and I'd lose. If I or if I won, I'd lose it anyway. So I'm good. Wait, how do we write the card? If you win, trade. Oh, it says you can. If you win, you can trade. So you can still win the flip and then decide and not trade to. Trade by attempt to discover okay. away? Yeah. That's <laughs> you see my point there? I was trying to tempt you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that didn't work. I will open a pack instead for Joel, for myself. I, I, I definitely want to win the title crack pack team. That's what I'm trying to do. Here we go. What do we got here? So we're about to get that sentinel, blah, blah. Temple of the False God. Temple is not bad. Riders. Um, Michaeloth, I love that card. And another Soul's Attendant. Huh. Another beautiful piece of artwork. I don't know if that's worth anything. We're going to have to do some adding at the end of this. Yes. With the pause the video added all No, I, I already, on. I can, almost everything that we had that was of value with the exception of the palace and maybe the asceticism uh, was in those first two packs. We, we opened power after power after power. Oh, yeah. That was just a good one. Here we go. Let's um, get some. Joel, since I haven't seen the pack yet, I'm going to cast my last card. Okay. I'm going to exchange the creature with the highest toughness in this pack opening with the card in your next pack opening. So we're going to change the highest toughness here. Highest toughness. Um, yeah. I also have not seen the pack. Um, is that your last card? Yes. <sighs> Should I use my counter spell or not? My only card. Of my... You know, I'm not going to use my counter spell. We're going to let it go. It'll be more fun. We're going to let it go. I'm going to let you play that. I'm going to let okay. you play that. <laughs> Isn't that what everybody with a counterspell in their hand says? Like, I, <laughs> think they have, think I think I'll, I think I'll let you play that. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you get away with that. Okay, here we go. Let me see. Tome. Dragon Broodmother. Broodmother. Which was not the highest toughness in that pack. There was a 2-5 in there. So I get to keep my Dragon Broodmother. Birds oh, of Paradise. Oh, I get a Birds of Paradise. I'm happy with both that. And a Hornet Sting. So what Can't was say no to more Birds of Paradise. It was a 2-5. There it is, Segu Archer. So that gift that of paradise that you just had in your hand isn't bad either. Yeah. It's not a money card or anything, but uh, it, it's totally playable. It's a good card, yeah. It's definitely a good card. If you have an enchantment deck and want to ramp up a little bit in an enchantment way. There you go. So Segu Archer, you're trading that. For All whatever right. has the highest toughness in your pack. Well, we're probably going to trade comments here, but let's see. We'll we'll find a out. Time creature. It could be. It's a luck of the draw. It could be a big thing. All right, what do we got here? Oh, I got a sword to plowshares. Oh, that's a nice pickup. I'll take that. All right. Typhoid rats. What was the wait? What was the last card? 
go back one more. Oh, I thought it was greater violence. Everybody knew I didn't keep going. You're good. Okay. Good. Sorry. I so thought three, I saw a card that was different. Three, three. So far, I thought the foundry is a good card. I think it's got a little value. Yeah. Uh, Peace Strider. Perish. Destroy all green creatures. Those creatures cannot be regenerated. So that's just mean to the green. Okay. Ooh. Queen Marchesa. Marchesa and Scourge of the Throne. Everybody gets Scourge of the Throne, which I think Marchesa is more expensive, but Scourge of the Throne is a great card, too. Ah, you got Scourge of the Throne, I and I took Scourge. your Sagu Archer. What does he do? He's got Reach, and he morphs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's worth putting in your rare pile, Joe. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't put him in my rare pile. I don't. I, I, know, just, I just let you know. I, I don't even know, man. That's that was a good one. That was a good one. Scourge of the Throne. Okay, that was my pack. So now we're going back to you. Back to you. I think if I had grabbed the Queen Marchesa, it would have been better, sadly. But uh, it is what it is. I'm going to cast my counter target spell. For no reason whatsoever. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Keep me on my toes. There you go. Now, I thought it would be fun, man. We get a few more cards made up. So we can make a real good fun game out of this. This is just not opening. I do not know why this is not opening. Uh, technical difficulties, eh? Yeah, but I got a, uh, a razor blade nearby, so I was able to there give it a go. slice. It's cheating off camera, everybody. Yep, that's what I got to do. Um, so we're going to start here with the Feet of Resistance. What do we got here for Retreats Alex? Terrible. Let's see, Alex, what we got the right of the serpent for you. Yeah. Well, can't say I'm happy with there. Snapping no. sailing. It's a dinosaur. Yeah. You got it a, is a dinosaur. Deck. And, and it's got an rage. Snapping, so like, it was uh, when I first built the dinosaur, I almost did it. There you go, you got a mango horn. Not that's terribly a good card. unplayable either. Definitely going budget. Mango horn's a great choice. Yeah, that's a good card. Zor, Todd Druid. Not terrible that's interesting. either. Um, Sunset Pyramid. Nope. Dathi Mind Dripper. Shadow. Oh, all her Armor is I'm very happy about that. Okay, cool. If you would gain life, you gain twice that much. And said, if you would draw a card except for the first yes. one you drew, each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead. I'm very happy about that. And a Triskelion. That's first most. Yes. And it's foil, foil. too, which will make it worth more. That's how I stay in the game, Joel. I don't know, because all the foils I've looked at in this set, though, seem to have a little less value just because they printed so many of them. I think you might very well be right. And honestly, Triskelion I don't think is a terribly expensive card either, so I don't think I'm making it back there. I think definitely uh, the other one was better. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. This is for Joel, for me. Let's see what we got here. Arbor Elf, Contraband, Kingpin. I'm, I'm, there you go. I definitely played him in Oh, Harold Horns Harold, that's a big pickup right there. Is that a that's good what, card? Uh, yes, that is fantastic. Nice. I put that in your rare pile. Okay, Tower of Eons. Prey Caesar oh, I can't even hold it in the correct way. That one I don't recognize. That's and, devout, uh, Spell Tithe Enforcer. Spell Tithe Enforcer is pretty uh, interesting. I like that artwork. Very nice. Very mm -hmm. nice. All right. Back to Alex. Let's see if he can pick up a mana crypt here. Kind just of win the game. Go. I might be huh? able to do it if I get a Teferi's Protection plus whatever else I had, but I think a mana crypt or bust at this point. Mana crypt or bust? No, you never know, man. If you got like a Teferi's Protection or a few things crypt. in a row. Let's say foil mana crypt. Come on. Yes, and I don't think they make a foil mana crypt in this set, though. That is unfortunate for me. I see the Gravy Lord. That's pretty good. No, it's not. Never mind. I thought it was a different card. Okay. There you go. Thran Dynamo. Thran Dynamo is not bad. It's got a little bit. Yeah. throw that, yeah. Oracle Nectars, maybe. It's a rare. Cold Chaos Warp. And an extra Chaos Warp. I ain't complaining about an extra and Chaos Warp. And a Codex warp. Shredder. That one I don't know. I don't know. An extra Chaos Warp. Not against. Not against it? Not so against if not, it. If you're not against it, you're for it. <clears throat> yes. Definitely I was like, like, I was like, why is my stack bigger than your stack? I was like, oh yeah, because I because <laughs> you got you, extra three backs. Well, it's because you went double, you went double or nothing, man. I You're, did. I think that's the right call, even. If, you know, we tied. You go double or nothing. You know, playing well, magic, home. playing magic with you, I learn a lot. But playing this game, I'm learning a little bit more. <laughs> Okay, playing Crackback Wars, you learn more about your friends. <laughs> Let's see what I got in my pack. I got a Thrumming Bird. I can use Thrumming another bird one. Interesting. Yeah, 
And then Elvish Fury. Nothing else fantastic. Rock Swarm. Oh, look, it, it's Rune. Well, oh, wait, no, yeah. It's... <laughs> that, that's the one I kept on <laughs> confusing with Rune every time. It's like, no, oh, quite not. Every single time. Tormod's Crypt, good card. Violent uh, Ultimatum. Violent Ultimatum. I don't think that one's worth a whole lot of money, but it is your rare. And it's an ultimatum. They just put a bunch of ultimatums in the. Uh, it's it, that's set. part of the original cycle of ultimatums, from Alara. Um, don't think yeah. any of them were terribly playable. Wheel of Fate. Wheel that's of Fate's good. worth something. That's your money card already. Yeah. Wheel of Fate's fantastic. And Korath Knight foil, which is uncommon, but again, the ultimatums are... worth like fifty cents would be my guess somewhere around that. But Wheel, Wheel of, of Fate, Fate's worth huh? Something. Yep. Suspend four. Each player discards his or her hand, then draws seven cards. This is a nice wheel. I like wheel effects. Yes. There you go. Okay. We're down to our last two packs. Here we go. Two each, I should say. So here we go, Alex. You got to come back. Now it's definitely mm -hmm. Mana Crypt or Bust. Mana oh, Crypt or yeah. Bust. No. I don't think wheels like terribly expensive or anything. It's just. Well, no, I didn't mean to buy it's, that. It's I'm good. Just it's, 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 I was it's, noticing it's, like, it's a good of the last, red Because card. of the last packs. We're in the last pack. Okay, so let's go. You never know. You could just, you know. Sometimes you luck out, you know. Go big or go home. Rancor, it's a good card. Rancor is worth money. Why don't you throw down the rares? It's it is, down. actually. Uh, Okran Assassin. Sensipsil. Path Razor. Ulamog. Lands might have some value, right? No, these ones. The lands, yeah, and you had another try land. Uh, in year one, they could have something. You, you got an arcane sanctum. Basilisk Collar is worth money. I'm on board with that. Okay, and Lapse of Certainty. That's a common. Uh, Lapse of Certainty. So that's a counter spell in white, by the way. We talked about this just earlier today, everyone. That's a counter spell in white. Put on top Much of the better instead of that. You know, I, oh, yeah, that's better than the other white counter spell yes. I have. I wonder if that's worth anything. We'll find out. We'll, we'll find out. Foil. I just like the artwork. I like the way the foil just like splits his head. No, and it's, again, I, I, it's, if I'm playing a deck that, that it, I'm, I would be happy to have when I'm on board, I got it. You got it. Okay, let's see. My second to last pack. Let's open this up. All right, what do we got here? Mm -hmm, black cat. It's a black cat. It's a black mm -hmm. cat. It's a gut shot. <laughs> Nature's Lures, deals with... which is the next card you have, Joel. Oh, yeah, that's a good card. Good, yeah. Search your library for a forest card. Put that card in the bathroom. That's worth probably a dollar or two. Yeah, Sylvan Scrying. Should I have for a land card? Reveal and put it into your yes. hand. That's I put Sylvan going. Scrying with the same Nature's Lore. Throw it over there. Tower into the power. Gargoyle. That I don't think it's worth anything. Breaker of Armies. No, nope, it's a card. That's a good <laughs> Phyrexian Soul Gorger. No clue. Akron Horse. Oh, that's a bit of a bust. But oh, behind it's Sundial of, Dial of the Infinite. Infinite Foil. That's a good deal. Sundial's nice. There we go. I'm just gonna throw these in here. We'll just, we'll check on them. I'm, I'm positive Breaker of Armies is worth maybe ten cents. Okay, then I'm not gonna put it. What about Phyrexian Soul Lord? You don't know. No clue on Phyrexian Soul Lord. We're down I, to the left. There you go. Down to the last two, Alex. We're gonna do you. And then we're going to do... And I'm hoping I'm not missing any other cards that we passed over and I happen not to well, see. Well, we, we can take our time. We're not. We're going to pause the video. And we're going to go and we're going to see. And we're going to come back with the value. Mm -hmm. There you go. You got... This is your last pack here. See what you get. Wall of Frost. Let's go out with the bang. Let's go out. You got a carry-on feeder. Is good. Pyrotechnics. And a well-wisher. I wish you well, Alex. I well, thank you. Well. Oh, an explosive vegetation. I love an explosive vegetation. Abzan Charm. Always a light light. Mulligan Snaps. Turn your ghost quarter is always nice to have an extra copy. That might be worth something, too. It might be... It's probably in the sense category, too. But Soothsane. There you go. An Audric. An Audric. That's my rare. Norn's, Norn's Annex. Annexes. There you go. There you go. There you go. I don't, totally I don't know too. how much don't know value these anything. have, but we'll, we'll find out at the end. Audric, end with Audric. I think I'm getting Audric in my... Uh, in, I'm getting That's the Abzang. That's the second Audric, if I remember. I can't see the... Uh, yeah, it's the second one. Hmm? 
There was two printings of Audric. That was one from original Innistrad, and one from Shadows. And I believe that's the Shadows printing. I can't see the symbol, but. All right. Here's the last. Here's my last pack. The last pack of the day. This is for the win. And we're gonna see what we got. Ending the game. The Kiss of Amisha. Copper Carapace. Brimstone Dragon. Old school artwork. Eldrazi Monument. There you go. That's worth something. And a Boundless Realms. There you go. I got there you go. quite a, quite a bit of ramp in here. I'm confident you have this one, Joel. Let's count it up, though. All right. Let's pause it. And we will come back. And when we come back, we will have the final value. Joel, you are the Crack Pack King. I am the Crack Pack King. All right, all right. So that does it. You can see here, um, total value on each side, and I get the award. Well, what's 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 my reward? Do I get a do I get a crown of some sort? Or, we need to come you up with like a token. The emotional victory. We should come up with like a belt <laughs> or a token or a crown. Anyways, that's it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, and when we're bored at home um, during. This time of stay at home, maybe we'll crack up some more packs in the near future. Might as well. Yep, let us know if you enjoy this. Um, if you want to see us open more things um, on uh, YouTube, um, be sure and subscribe. Our regular podcast, we like to do a lot of deck techs. We like to talk to uh, uh, brand new players about a bunch of evergreen stuff and just we love magic. So please um, subscribe, give us a share, give us a like, um, thumbs up. And all of the above. See you next time. All right. See you. Well said. A little flexibility there. Activate this ability only if you have the city's blessing.